Hoxton Park, Staffordshire, the venue chosen for the British round of the Motocross de Nation for 1964. To this one and a quarter mile circuit, famous for its impossibly steep hill, come the elite, the best of the world's 500cc scramblers. Teams from eight countries are taking part, so let's have a look at some of the competitors. There's number eight, Dennis Mitchell from Canada. Number four, Sylvain Gabors, one of the new boys from Belgium. Number 33, Gorman Johansson from Sweden. Number 23, Derek Rickman, Great Britain, whose brother Don is also riding in this race. Number 29, Hartleman from Holland. And there's one of the French contingent, number 18, our clan. And now, as we look down from Hawkston's famous hill and wait for the start of this 15-lap, 20-mile race, and there they go! There they go! Look at that! Look at that! It's a full start! Yes, the flags go out. Yes, there go the red flags. The flags are up. This race is started by releasing a giant elastic band which is stretched across the riders. Then it's a test of your nerve and reflexes. It's a case of open the... Look at that! Look at those riders left on the line! This must surely be another full start. There were several riders left on the line, not the least of which was that great rider, Ove Lundell. Well, the red flags haven't gone out, so the race will keep going, but there's bound to be some tremendous protest, especially from the riders who were left on the line. As the starters go away on the first lap, it's Jeff Smith. Jeff Smith with 14 and a half laps to go, followed by Person of Sweden, then there's another British rider, and behind him, as they shoot over the hill, two more of the Swedish team. Jeff Smith, the man who is well on his way to world championship status, is in the lead on the 420cc BSA, and behind him, Per Olaf Persson on the Husqvarna. A British rider on a British machine beating a Swedish rider on a Swedish machine as they go into the sand for the first time. And there's Rickman, Don Rickman, number 24 in third place, and in fourth position is the first of the Belgian riders, Sylvain Gabors, the 19-year-old newcomer to the sport. With the first half lap completed and the first real climb up Hawkston Hill, it's Jeff Smith on the 420 BSA. Behind him in second place, Per Olaf Persson from Sweden, then Don Rickman, Britain, followed by Belgian Sylvain Gabors. And as they dive down the far side of the hill, Gabors duels with Rickman as Scale, the Belgian number three, is challenged by Dirks. Bro Dirks, the giant farmer from Holland. Sweden. Belgium and Arthur Lampkin with valve lifters opposed and thrusts open drop down into the dust. And here comes Jeff Smith on his first full lap because the Hawkston Park circuit has a short half lap at the beginning of the race. Gabors, Scale, Dirks, Avor from Holland and De Souter from Belgium for mate on Arthur Lampkin on the 500cc cotton. Bend, it's the Dutchman Habor on the BSA leading Herman de Souter's matchless Matisse with Arthur Lampkin, number 22, the British Bulldog, still holding on. And now thrashing his way through the roughs is the leader, Jeff Smith from Streetly. At 29, a veteran scrambler with seven British championships, the ACU Gold Star, and 12 years' experience, guiding him every inch of the way. This is the first time we've seen him riding the Dunlop Shot 420 BSA, the mount which has given him the chance to challenge the great Rolf Tiplin for the World Championship title. The amazing thing is that Tiplin doesn't seem to be anywhere in this race at the moment. As they come into the sand, it's Smith. Person in second place. Sylvain Gabors. Dirks. So the countries are well spread out. Britain, Sweden, Belgium and Holland in the first four places. That's London from Sweden, Big Eastwood for Britain. And just look at that man go. Jeff Smith carving his way through the corridor of cheering people as he roars up to the tree. According to my unofficial timing, he's three seconds ahead of Person from Sweden.
Britain. Sweden. Belgium's Gabors. No, it's not. It's not. It's Dirks. Yes, Bro Dirks from Holland has passed Sylvain Gabors and is now in third place. And he's going like a bomb. This is fantastic. Something we never expected to see. Dirks on the Swedish Lito, the same make of machine that took Sven Lundin to the top of the World Championships in 1959 and 1961, is really pushing up the pace. Jeff Smith, the master of Hoxton Park, followed by Person of Sweden. No, it's Dirks! It's Dirks! Dirks is going mad. He's past Person and he's closing up on the leader at a terrific pace. Can Holland, in the form of Brer Dirks, catch the Great Britain in the form of Jeff Smith? I wouldn't have thought so, but this enormous flying Dutchman on the Lito with the sit-up-and-beg handlebars has moved up four places in the last two laps. bit of sliding as this giant of a man forces his heavy machine through the rough. Down, down, down into the sand. Dirks. Person, Sweden. Gamors. But Jeff Smith still out in front has quite a good lead over the Dutchman four different countries in the first four places, but it's the positions of the men behind the leaders that matters in motocross, for the championship goes to the team with the best three riders and the lowest aggregate of points. Jeff Smith riding magnificently, a master tactician, picking his own path up the hill with Dirks rapidly closing the gap between them. Person holds on to third place, and the leaders are about to lap the Canadian, Dennis Mitchell, number nine. And if Smith can't get past, Dirks will catch him. A couple of seconds lost in a traffic jam can make all the difference in this game. 